bending all conduit, you must ensure that the correct shoe is utilized. For PVC coated conduit, it will require modifications to your existing shoes or you can purchase shoes specifically designed for PVC coated conduit. If the installer chooses to modify their existing shoes, the inside diameter of the shoe must be machined out approximately 6 one hundredths of an inch. In this next demonstration, we will be bending 2 inch PVC coated conduit. The first shoe that will be used is a 2 inch shoe for galvanized conduit. The second shoe will be the next larger trade size, 2 and a half inch. And the third shoe is a 2 inch shoe that has been machined out approximately 6 one hundredths of an inch. Through this example, you will clearly see the importance of using the correct shoe. We will start by demonstrating the incorrect method of using a 2 inch shoe for galvanized conduit. The shoe has been placed onto the hydraulic ram and the pin has been inserted. It is also correctly placed and set in the middle of the shoe. Once the first bend is complete, you can see the indention that is formed along the edge of the pipe on both sides. On larger sizes of conduit, the damage will be more apparent. Now we will bend the 2 inch PVC coated conduit using the 2.5 inch shoe, which is also an incorrect method. We will repeat the bending process as before. Watch the pipe closely. As you can see, a larger size shoe will cause the conduit to collapse around 50 degrees. For the last bend, we will use a correct method and use a 2 inch shoe that has been machined out approximately 6 one hundredths of an inch from the inside of the shoe. It is important to load the pipe and make sure it sets in the middle of the shoe. Once properly placed and secure, begin the bending process until completion. Important, never use lubricants during the bending process. Lubricants tend to allow the conduit to slip above the center line of the shoe, resulting in flattening of the elbow. As you can see, there is no damage to the conduit. Based on these demonstrations, it is essential that the installer uses the correct shoes to bend PVC coated conduit. If you should have any questions regarding replacement shoes, please contact us direct at the factory.